Hello, welcome friends. My name is Manmad Biradar and uh, today we are going to discuss a very important uh, chapter that is 18 myths. 18 myths about food and agribusiness. See, there are a lot many and lot more myths about food and agribusiness. What is agribusiness actually? And what is food business? Actually, they are actually combined or they are separate. Like that, many more myths are there uh, with regards to those things. So we have to discuss today that's what actually these myths means and what actually the fact is. So we are today discovering the facts. So let's start. Let's begin. We will see the first friends. Yes. So this is first. Uh, agribusiness is done traditional way. That's it. That, that is a myth you can call. Uh, of course, uh, it's not. It's called myth because nowadays it has been changed a lot. And uh, though it is done traditional way, but it has a great value today. Because see, friends. Traditional grains, traditional crops like millets, jowar, bajra are now getting premium price in the market. Hence, nothing is traditional today. So actually that has become now a premium uh, business, you can say. Because traditionally we were in that business, in the agribusiness, but now if you are doing the right kind of business in that section, then it is actually a very good business you are in. So that is the first friends. Agribusiness is done traditional way is a myth now. Yes, that is true. Now we will turn to the second. Making food is the responsibility of the farmer. That is a uh, second myth you can say. Making food is the responsibility of farmer. That actually that is a myth because making food uh, not necessary he has to uh, make food for others he can grow the food the farmer can grow the food for his own family also so we must not waste the food whatever we are having that is the thing actually we have to take care and that is the myth we are bursting that making food always is not the responsibility of the farmer. So that is keep in mind. So that is second myth. Now we are coming to the third. What is the third myth? Agribusiness has very less contribution uh, towards economy. That is a third myth. Actually friends, uh, if we see agribusiness contributes a lot more. Actually that is a myth actually because uh, agribusiness and agri-commodity business, fruits, vegetables, uh, food business, grocery, and each one of the item we eat, uh, that is actually playing a key role in the economy of the uh, country, you can say. So it, you cannot say that uh, agribusiness is uh, playing very less role in uh, the Indian economy or in the, in the country of the economy. So that is the third myth and that we have to bust today. See, there are a lot more businesses depending on the same uh, thing that is agriculture. And here we are saying that uh, agriculture is very playing less role in the Indian economy. That is a myth again. So that is the third myth we are bursting. Now we are coming to the food. Agribusiness and food grocery are different. If we think, friends, the grocery business is actually depending on the agriculture. So essential part of daily eating, our essential part like wheat, rice, dal, Everything we eat on in our uh, food, uh, starting from our uh, breakfast uh, to dinner, everything we eat comes from agriculture, and that is the importance of agribusiness. 
see there are lot many lot many businesses in agriculture depending on that uh, there are number of branches or number of ways and outs we can do the agriculture business and even though it is not called an agriculture business but that is called an grocery business that is called an food business uh, you can call Mm, or whatever uh, you, you can call fruits vegetables business it's a, having different different names but it all coming under one roof one roof that is agri business and that is the importance of this agri business so and hence we cannot say agriculture and food grocery business are different so that is a myth we have to burst that myth so that is number fourth so now we are coming to the fifth myth food and agri business is low grade business and need not require any skills many people think that agri business is a low grade or is a low quality business or uh, we can say it's a not uh, requiring any skills very uh, skill set business that many people think like that so it's not actually like that see friends food and agri business actually requires a lot more uh, skill with regards to making and even agriculture requires a lot many skills uh, uh, we can say so but uh, many people feel that it doesn't require any skill and only the fellow who is not educated as a farmer he is growing food for you that is wrong that is a myth friends so because there is a lot many years of this traditional way of our being or uh, doing agriculture the science of the that thing is now discovering we are all in the discovery phase and we are actually being uh, we can say um, informative now about the Uh, real knowledge of the traditional agriculture business or traditional foods traditional health foods you can say in the coming uh, section i am talking about this so actually th 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 there is a very lot more to known about the importance of the crops importance of the plants importance of the agriculture in india there is a lot more see if you can just have uh, your um, medicines stop by eating the correct uh, food that is the secret behind this that is a big secret friends because if you are eating in the right way right food right time then you need not to go to the doctor and that is the thing which is coming in the coming days or which is um, uh, being uh, now discovered so that is very important friends so food and agriculture organization fao as you know fao is an organization which is working for the uh, uh, hunger of the world which is uh, satisfying the hunger of the world which is working as you know it is an international united nations organization and it is working for to satisfy the hunger of the world and it has a bigger mission very big mission that uh, world should not be fell short of food see our population is increasing and increasing and growing but our land is the same so we have to feed the population with whatever the resources we are having and that we have to take care uh, because the resources are the same but the population is increasing the nutritional food we require is now growing many more lot many more uh, we can say um, uh, diseases are coming and we have to fight with the immune power with that so uh, food and agri business is the basic uh, business to take care the whole food system of the world so the sixth food business is only related to hotels and restaurants as you know it's not like that food and agri business is not 
uh, only related to uh, means hotels. Some people feel that I can go to the hotel and I can have one meal or whatever. But it's the fact is that it related to agriculture. The basic whatever things are coming there, it's directly related to the agriculture. There are many more Indian foods available which are actually traditionally very rich in nutrition, you can say. So that is the sixth number. Now we are coming to the seventh. The seventh is only junk food is available all over the world. Or we can say uh, in India, there are a lot many more things uh, now only junk food or fast food is now growing like that. Actually, if we see this is a Western style to eat uh, the junk food, because in Indian style, we eat only nutritional. If we start from uh, even our, uh, we can say breakfast, that is also very different in different parts of India. If we go to the south, we uh, take idlis, we go to the north in Punjab, they, we, we take paratha and all these different types of foods. And that is truly nutrition based foods. But in the wave of this Western culture modernization, we actually now are taking the culture of Westernization and we are eating the fast food. So that is nothing uh, actually we should say uh, that. Indian food is having the big heritage culture and raw food is based for our body. If we see now the culture of raw food is coming. So uh, only raw, um, fast food is not there. There is healthy food available in that. So that is a myth we are busting. Now number eight, number eight, what is number eight? Food is made in kitchen. Of course it is made, but it is coming, food is coming from the farm, but it is grown in farm. That is the basic. Some fellow members did, did not know, do not know that this food is coming from the farm. So that is the origin of this uh, food. So this is the eighth number. Myth ninth, ninth is food increases body weight. Many people feel that food is there only if we if we eat food many more then we actually gain the weight of course that is somewhat true somewhat means if we did not uh, get the uh, correct way of eating food and eating habits then of course we can gain the weight but if we take the traditional food which enriches in nutritional ideas and nutritional uh, enrich uh, food, then we, it is not possible. If we eat only the fruits and vegetables in the morning or some soups in the morning, then how can we gain the weight? So because of the wrong habits, we are actually gaining the weight. So that is the myth actually uh, so that we have to burst. So that is number ninth. Uh, now we are coming to the tenth. Tenth myth is that food business is done with shop or a physical building only. So now, uh, if we see hotels and this all many uh, big uh, uh, food corner area, and all these things are actually physical businesses. But now, these businesses can be done online. Yes, these can be done online. Now the era of online food business has been emerged, is there. So you can do the business online also. You are, there are cloud kitchens as you know. Even in uh, the rural or in the uh, metro cities, uh, the food is made at a home and it is delivered now. There are so many platforms which are coming and now they are actually consuming the homemade food with a very good nutrition value and with a very good price. So that is the advantage of this new food system now. So the myth number 11, agribusiness means only working in farm. That is an, a myth. Many people think that only if agribusiness, I am doing agribusiness, that means I am working at a farm. So that is not the truth. But actually, agribusiness starts uh, 
from the farm to fork. Actually, the agribusiness starts at farm because see, whenever what we eat at our uh, kitchen or we make our food at kitchen uh, or table, so that time the process of uh, we can say value chain starts from the farm. The food is packed there, then it has come, it is coming to the transport and the food is transported to our home. Like that the chain, the value chain is there. So it doesn't mean that agribusiness means only doing the farming. So now the 12th, agribusiness only provide inputs to farms. Agribusiness doesn't only mean in uh, providing inputs. Of course, it is a one part of that. Of course, initial uh, to gain the food, to grow the food, we need uh, the inputs like fertilizers, pesticides. Of course, that is a part of agribusiness, but it doesn't only mean that uh, agribusiness is only providing inputs. It means providing value chain to food, food supply. That is an also part. So that is myth number 12th. Now the 13th, only agriculture graduates can do the agribusiness. That is again the myth. Of course, one part is there. I know because see, if you are in the input supply like pesticide fertilizers, that then you required an uh, agriculture degree. But that is if we, you are in, processing, food processing, agro uh, processing, or in other businesses like value chain, you doesn't require any uh, degree or like that, e or even you are in online agribusinesses or even your, your grocery businesses, you doesn't require any degree. So that is a myth number 13, we are busting. So now the 14th, 14th is Agribusiness cannot be done online. That is a big myth. Big myth. See, friends, agribusiness nowadays is done online and it is very comfortably done. It is the fact and it has we have to accept. Now, in the rural area, areas also, the penetration of internet has been uh, actually grown like anything. It's a very, uh, very sm uh, smart. Uh, phones, smartphones are now uh, reached to the now level, you can say, Taluka level, it has reached. Now, hence, it, is, it doesn't mean that we cannot do agribusiness online. Yes, you can do the agribusiness online uh, with correct digital knowledge. If you are using the correct digital platforms, you can create the correct digital assets and you can grow your agribusiness online. That is a myth number 14, we have to bust. So now we are coming to myth number 15. Food and agribusiness can be done only in rural areas, tier two cities, tier two, three cities. Like that there is an also, this is a myth. See, your agribusiness can also be done in the metro cities. Yes, it is a fact because the Agribusiness is not only and related uh, to uh, input supply, but it also supplied to food related and food and is the basic need of all, all over the world. And in metro cities, there is uh, actually huge potential for this business. Yes, you can do the agriculture business, food business, um, food grocery business at metro level. And that is the potential having in the metro cities. So that is the myth number 15. Yes. Now, number 16. The myth number 16 is all food is with pesticides. This is also somewhat true, but is not totally true. Because friends, see, nowadays, organic food is now the new way of doing the premium agribusiness. Yes, this is and the, this is actually the uh, we can you can say an area where you can actually grow your business very much and very drastically with premium customers. So uh, that is a myth again that all food is coming with pesticide. Yes, somewhat it's true, but not totally true. So that is myth number. 16. Now the myth number 17. 
agri commodities cannot be exported this is also a myth see friends agri commodities is actually exported very very large area very big area huge potential is there for agri uh, products for agri exports apeda is a government agency and is working for uh, only for that agriculture processed um, food development authority is a authority and it's a very big way it is exporting agriculture uh, commodities agriculture products and there is huge demand for agriculture uh, products from india see if we see there are so many huge and huge uh, you can say uh, potential for this uh, type of businesses because india is rich in tradition traditionally it's a very rich country if we go to himalaya or you know, to north uh, like apple in kashmir and if we go to the south in various jungle sea from honey business honey is a very good business like that honey you, you can say that forest business uh, you can even do the business with a ba bamboo plant bamboo is a very huge potential plant and having a uh, very export oriented uh, orders are having so you can do the agri business there also so uh, you cannot say that agri business cannot be exported yes agri commodities are exported and export business agriculture export business is a big huge opportunity so the last but the not least actually there are number of myths but uh, the last but not least farmer is not getting the value of his crop somewhat true but i say that if we go the right way then farmer also can get a good price see there are two three options the option number 1 is farmer can directly sell to customer now dates yes so he can get whatever price he wants if he is creating a good value product then uh, there is value or the second option option second is he can give that product to the pharma producer company or fpo you can say he can give that or he can um, sell that initial product to him that pharma producer company and that pharma producer company uh, can value add he, that can pack in a very good way and it can sell in the market so and the third way of course uh, he can sell in the apmc that is the third way but of course the first two ways are the best way to get the correct value get the good value of the product whatever he invested Uh, the farmer has invested in his crop so that is an also uh, actually somewhat level it is a myth you can say because if we if farmer uh, tries his best and he thinks in a very different way in a business way then he can do he can get the correct price a good price for his produce so that is number 18 so friends these are the 18 myths different myths we have discussed and uh, so um, friends please uh, like this video please uh, comment below whatever uh, you feel how do you feel about these myths so thank you for watching keep watching and uh, uh, please subscribe my channel